What's good, YouTube land? We are back. First off, I just want to say happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day to everybody out there. The doctor, the reverend, Martin Luther King Jr. Check me out, though. Check me out, though. Check me, check me, check me out, though. For those who don't even know, today actually is Martin Luther King's birthday. It actually hasn't been his birthday on the same day of his holiday in a while. That's why I keep saying 2018 is the year, man. I'm telling you, like, everything is just falling into place. We actually get to celebrate on his holiday and his birthday all at the same time. Side note before I get into Martin Luther King, I just want to talk about another Black History moment. As we all know, next month in Black History Month, the greatest movie of all time, yes, I'm claiming it right now, Black Panther will be releasing in a theater near you. Sorry about that. But before it even came out, it's already breaking records. You hear what I'm saying? It's already breaking records. It has been documented that the Black Panther movie has had more pre-sale tickets sold than any Marvel movie of all time. That's talking about Thor, the Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America, even the whole Avengers together. Twice! Black Panther has outsold all of them. So you know what that means? And I'm claiming it right now. Black Panther getting ready to be the number one movie of all time. I mean highest grossing ever. It's about to be Avatar, Titanic, Star Wars, everything. I'm telling you, I'm banking on it right now. It's just time for a movie of this standard to finally take over and be known as the GOAT. It's already the GOAT my book. I already told everybody next month, I don't know you. It's all about Black Panther next month. That's the only thing I care about next month, Black Panther. So now on to the celebration of Martin Luther King and why Martin Luther King means so much to me. To know that this man literally gave everything to assure that a man like me on this day can even sit in front of a camera and talk about how important his time in this world was to all of us is nothing short of amazing. Granted, things are still bad. We're not going to act as if life isn't still a struggle for black people in America. But because of men like Martin Luther King, we now have a fighting chance, at least. At least we have knowledge of a fighting chance because I always believe that it starts up here. This is where the fight begins. We have to start believing that we actually do have the power to fight back. And that is what Martin Luther King meant so much to me for. He didn't fight back with these. And that to me is more powerful than ever seeing another person punch somebody in the face. When you actually can make a moment and a statement and actually move something without physically having to do it, that's power. So I salute Martin Luther King for always being that person to go to and look to that all I had to do is believe and achieve. We all know a lot about Martin Luther King, but I just wanted to document some things that maybe you didn't know. So, things that you didn't know about Martin Luther King. This might shock you. So, some of you may or may not know, but Martin Luther King's first name was not Martin when he was born. His first name actually was Michael. Da, da, da. He shoots, he scores. I'm gonna eat his children, eat his heart out. Yeah, he was a Michael. It's a lot of goats named Michael, I'm telling you. And this one, I was actually kind of surprised about because I had no idea 
Martin Luther King actually entered college at 15 years old. So most 15 year olds were going into their sophomore year of high school. Martin Luther King was going into college and found out that he actually skipped the 9th and the 12th grade. Martin Luther King, you ain't go to your own prom. King received his doctorate in systematic theology when he went to grad school at Boston University in 1955. That's where he received his PhD. He's an influence to me because I'm considering getting my PhD one day because I knew Martin Luther King had one. And this one is a huge one to me because it hits really close to home, like literally like 10 minutes from my house. Dr. King's first I Have a Dream speech was not at the Lincoln Memorial in 1963, but in fact, it was in 1962, right at the OIC Center in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Here, I had no idea Martin Luther King walked in that same environment. I had no choice but to be the man I am today because I walked on the same ground as the doctor, the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. It's pretty amazing. This one is pretty, it's kind of crazy to find out he was actually jailed 30 times. This system is totally messed up. We just gonna leave it at that. But Martin Luther King Jr. went to jail 30 times for disturbing the peace and breaking the laws of that Jim Crow time. This man went to jail more time than Tupac and Mike Tyson combined. But it was totally worth it. Take me to jail is what he said. Hey, Martin Luther King was a gangster. It's real out here. Ah. Some of you also might not know that King's life was almost threatened earlier than it actually was back in September 20th, 1958, where he was stabbed nearly almost to death by a woman, a black woman, I should say, Isola Ware Curry. Steph, is that your people? Unfortunately, the woman was mentally impaired and one thing led to another and she stabbed him. It just goes to show the type of aura that surrounded him throughout his whole entire campaign of civil rights and, and nonviolent. He was a he was threatened often. He was constantly a target. This one I feel means the most to me because it's actually my favorite speech from Martin Luther King and it's his most eerie as well. He actually had a speech the night before he was assassinated. It was almost as if he foretold his, his death. He was in Memphis, of course, on April 3rd um, to support the strike of city's black garbage workers. He told an audience of a Mason Temple Church, like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. And I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. You know, it's just, it's amazing the kind of connection that this man had with God and how he was at peace in one of the most chaotic moments of his life before they took him. And I just will always admire him for his strength and his courage and for his ultimate sacrifice and making sure that in 2018, we have a fighting chance. And last on this list, George Washington is the only other American to have had his birthday observed as a national holiday. You hear that? Martin Luther King is in the same realm as a president. And like I said, today is actually his birthday and his holiday. So y'all know what we gotta do. We gotta turn up. We gotta actually be live. And we gotta go out here and do great work.
for Martin Luther King, I just say go back and reflect and listen and read on how amazing Martin Luther King was and how his words can still carry us on and those movements and those walks and those stances still can help us carry on in today's fight with this system, with the constant injustice and the constant struggle. Things have changed, but a lot of things still remain the same. And until we continue to realize that we can't just rely on a Martin Luther King, and when we start to realize that we need to be our own Martin Luther King and stand together, nothing's gonna change. And if you're okay with that, continue to do what you're doing. But for me and mine, we're gonna continue to fight. And we're gonna make a legacy of our own. And we just wanna thank Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. for always knowing that it was about us and not himself. And that is why we celebrate. Salute.